Good evening. This week we'll be taking a brief look into the world of Timmy Jacksonville from Larson Bay, South Dakota. A man of simple pleasures, Timmy has had a far from simple life. He lives within walking distance of his high school, but rarely walks or bikes. This is because, since birth, Timmy has had an 8-inch square cinder block in place of his right foot. People always ask me the same thing when they first meet me. <laughs> no, it's not, are you sure this elevator can support your weight? No, what, what people ask me is how. Timmy was born with a rare genetic condition known as stone foot disease. Timmy faces several difficulties in everyday life due to his condition. I've always been this way. I, it's not horrible or anything, though. I mean, sure, you know, sometimes a bit of cement breaks off and bits of it go into my bloodstream and I have a massive heart attack. But who hasn't had that happen to them, like, you know, like somehow or another? I'm just glad I don't have lupus. It's, it's true I can't go swimming. <laughs> At least not in water that's higher than my mouth. But in, in all seriousness, I'm afraid to go on boats. I can't play any sports either, you know, due to the regulations. Uh, actually, last year, um, due to a little loophole, I got into the wrestling team. But uh, that didn't last long. See, they, they put me on the heavyweight section because of my, uh, well, because of my condition. I did not make it very far. <laughs> you can ask my friends about that one. <laughs> yeah, when I was younger, my parents had to tape uh, tea cozies and little small chair cushions to my feet so I wouldn't break anything. Still managed to break that vase in my father's heart and his legs. Recent technological and medical developments have made it possible for Timmy, and others like him, to become normal. There are thousands of prosthetic feet just waiting, jealously, to take that cinder block's place. But Timmy has his own opinions. I thought about it, yeah. I mean, sure, it'd be nice to have, you know, two symmetrical feet, or, you know, be able to go out on the dance floor and not hurt anybody. Or, you know, even go on the lightweight rides to Disneyland. But I've decided that this is part of me. Not, not just literally. My foot has been with me my, my entire life. To get rid of now would just be heresy and sacrilege towards my body and being. And I'm not unhappy. I mean, foot replacement surgery would be completely cosmetic in my case, and I'm not that vain. Although I do sometimes color on my foot with different colors of chalk. You know, it's not really that bad. I look at these people who've lost their legs in the war or fishing, and I think to myself, I'm I'm a lucky, 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 luck, luck boy. And you know, I always have my legs and my left foot. So, Timmy, despite adversity, is living a content, functional, even happy life. He loves himself for who he is even if that means he loves a disproportionate mutant freak. Perhaps there is a lesson we could all learn from Timmy. <laughs> I like my shirt. It's very South Dakota like. Like yeah. By the way, we're still filming. You know, it's it's not really that bad. I see these people <coughs> who've lost their legs in in wars or fishing, and I think to myself, what a wonderful <laughs> No, Sam. I had it. I had it. No. No. Oh, no.